Thank you, I appreciate it. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode. My name is Andrew Noble, the host of the channel, and this one is gonna be all about the 1965 Ford Fairlane. Now I haven't driven this car in a couple of months, probably about a month and a half to two months, and it's for a very good reason, because I haven't been able to get it started. And the main reason I haven't been able to get it started is because the distributor, the new distributor, as you guys all know if you've been following the build, after I put it in, the car just acted really, really strange. Now, it would backfire, it wouldn't go past like 30 miles an hour and it just kept sputtering and originally I thought maybe it was a spark plug issue but it was running perfectly fine before putting in that distributor as you can see here this is the actually the new one and again if you were following my build I was on a borrowed distributor for this one the original one was a points of contact distributor and then I borrowed from one of my neighbors a electronic distributor and then this one I purchased is also an electronic so I figured this was just gonna be a swap in swap out easy peasy and of course it gave me some issues so swapped in the old one the old borrowed one and then everything completely ran totally fine again now another issue that we ran into as far as the build goes you guys know I replaced the carburetor and everything was going with the carburetor I put in the electronic choke with that we hooked it up to the current power source the alternator and it was getting 12 amps of power and that's how much power you're supposed to be getting with the electronic choke but it just wasn't quite opening it wasn't where we kind of wanted it to be it wasn't opening all the way so I have it permanently set to open until I can get a separate power source for that electronic choke so it doesn't really get super cold here in Southern California it's been about 50 degrees here running with the open choke it hasn't really been giving me any issues which I know if I were to be back east where it's like zero degrees 20 below I know I'd have issues starting it up but I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys a cold start right now and I also realized I haven't really given you guys a full-on tour of the 65 Fairlane I'm gonna take you guys back to 1965 everything on the car except for a few little visual mods is stock but let's get that cold start before I get you that tour and we'll do a little walk around show you the ins and outs of this 289 Fairlane 500 sports coupe now I did put a pull up on Instagram I did a cold start of the Audi R8 V10 the Ford F150 V8 and the 1965 Ford Fairlane and the cold start here in California sound pretty good but I did a vote and you guys all voted for the 1965 Ford Fairlane. You guys like the sound of this car and I would have to agree that start, that nice little rumble does sound pretty good. But again, it's about 50 degrees here. So let's get that cold start. We might not get a start right away, but let's get that start for you and see if we can get it cranked up first try. Oh, first try didn't work. Let's uh, let's try second try. I bet this one's gonna work. Keep the revs up a little bit. Oh, and it dies on me. Third time's a charm, baby. Let's go. I think that one is a ticket. Let's go ahead and let her warm up a little bit. Then I'll pull her out and I'll take you guys on a little ride down memory lane and take you guys to 1965. Now that we got her in the sunlight, we can really showcase how beautiful this car is. All original paint. This paint coat was called Tropical Turquoise back in 1965. Now this paint job, it isn't the best of shape. As you can see, there's some parts right here where it's wearing thin, but you know what? It's got original paint on it, and I really love the way the patina looks. I've been going back and forth on painting the car. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Should I paint the car or should I keep it stock color? I've been getting mixed feelings about it, and for the most part, everyone says you cannot paint this car. You 
you can't change the color and I'm really having a tough time about it, but this original paint color looks really good on the car. Let's walk around over here. Now, some tasteful mods done to the car were these Kragers. The original wheels that came on the car had the Fairlane logo that looked like this. I'll actually put a picture of them, kind of what they looked like before. And I really think these Kragers really set up the car, give it that nice little muscle car feel. Uh, the 1965 body is a long body. As you guys can see, it's got that long body with the squared off top. They didn't go to the fastback where the, the fastback scoop look until 1966. So 1965 still had that kind of square body look and I really like the way it looks. Walking around the body trim here, it says Fairlane 500 and it has this nice little chrome body trim. And throughout the years, this body trim really has kept pretty good. There's no really like dents or dings on it. And if I were to paint it, I thought about pulling off this body trim, but it looks so good on the car and it really gives that classic car look. Coming around the rear here, it says sports coupe on the trunk and it has those, it has all that chrome accents here. Now my favorite thing about the rear end of this car is it has these crosshair rear tail lights here. 1965 was the only year that they put that crosshair tail light on and I really think it gives it a cool nice little look. Now another tasteful mod that's been placed on this car is it has Magnaflow exhaust on it and as you guys saw on that cold start, the cold start sounded really good. The Magnaflow gives it that nice little deep rumble and I'm a huge huge fan of it. One of the things I do want to show you which is original on this car is this trunk here. It has the original plaid vinyl bottom here and I really like how they did that back in 1965. Now it has got a little bit of rough shape here but again this is original exactly how it came in 1965 and I don't like giving it a bend but there you go it's that nice little plaid look there um, everything else in here the car did not come with the spare tire there but I do have all the fixings for the spare tire I have the original jack and the tire holder there that held in the tire and as you can see plenty of trunk space in here I got my chairs in here for when we take it to car shows and stuff but definitely a lot of trunk space compared to the vehicles you see on the road today filler cap for the gas is back here in the rear side pretty cool you got a nice little door here that opens up and and you put in the gas there. If you guys follow my build, you saw that I had to replace the gas tank and this was definitely used while doing that. I do need to replace this molding here and I've been looking for it online and I can't seem to find it. So if you guys in the comments, I know you guys are Ford Fairlane fanatics. If you guys in the comments know what type of molding I need for that, the weather stripping to keep the water out. I haven't been able to actually do a wash on the car yet because I didn't want the water to leak into the trunk. And that's originally what made this fuel tank give out was water got in here and it rusted away the fuel tank and water got into that tank. Let's walk around this side over here. Probably one of my favorite views of the Ford Fairlane is that view right there. Look at how long it is. They just don't make it like they used to anymore. Definitely a long body compared to the cars that you see on the road today. And it's actually kind of funny because everybody on the road, when they see this car coming, they give it a big thumbs up. And I got a huge thumbs up from a lady on the road. It definitely, I know it brought her back to her time and she was super excited to see the Ford Fairlane on the road. Let's pop this hood for you so you guys can see. If you guys have been following my build, you guys know this is the original 289 four barrel that was put in the car back in 1965. But I have put some tasteful mods on here. I have dressed it up a little bit with that red accent. I put the red spark plug wires on there, the red Ford Racing air cleaner on there, and of course the red Ford Racing valve covers on there. But everything else compared to that little bit of engine dress up is completely stock. It's the stock 289 V8 motor back from 1965. Let's take you on into the inside of the car. Now, again, this is all original. This color, that blue color, is an original color. Blue vinyl, little two-tone blue vinyl. The back seat is pretty roomy, and you got the original carpet in here as well. Let's step inside. Now, you got this nice little vinyl up here, but... The dash is actually a sheet metal along with the side doors. They're actually kind of in a little sheet metal. And again, everything else in here is from 1965. I really like the look here. You got the speedometer. It goes up to 120 miles an hour. Your little blinker arrows here and then your mileage, your fuel and your temperature gauge. Not much more that you needed back then, especially with a old school motor. Everything is mechanical. You do have a little oil 
little light here, the lights here, and the wipers here. Now this car was not optioned with air conditioning. However, it does still have a fan, just defroster and heat. So you do have control of the right side air right here. AM radio only, as you can see here. And then here is your heat and your defroster. Still works pretty good. Your cigarette lighter, all cars came with cigarette lighters back then. They weren't auxiliary ports. And you have your ashtray here, now used for spare change and that wheel key right here. Inside of the glove box, you open up the glove box over here. This right here is really special. I'm really excited to actually have this. This is the original registered owner's manual of the 1965 Ford Fairlane. Cool little story. I know the background. My in-law's neighbor was actually the original purchaser of this car. And if you open up the first page here, you can see there is the info originally signed May 1965, which is super awesome. Stamped with the original dealer stamp right there. You have a complete owner's manual of the 1965. It talks about the warranty, the tire warranty. Um, it goes into the maintenance of the car. It talks about what motor oil to use, what filter to use, the battery, the engines that were made back in 1965. It actually taught you how to take care of your car back in the day all the way from um, fixing a flat tire, placement of the jack, changing a battery, how to check the coolant, and all of the recommendations that were on the motor for 1965. Pretty cool little history here, still with this original car, and again, love how I still have this nice little part of history. I know a lot of the Fairlanes came with the tree up here, and also the three on the tree, which was a manual transmission, but this particular car was optioned. It was a nice little cruiser, and it was optioned with the automatic transmission. One thing with the old school cars is this was an option. It was option with one mirror. As you can see, you don't have the mirror on this side. You had to pay extra for this one mirror option. You have plenty of visibility in the car. You turn around and you can see pretty much everywhere on the road. So again, mirrors were option back then. They weren't a necessity and you have your rear view mirror right here. Original headliner. Now, if you see some older fair lanes and some older cars, it's really rare when you see the headliner in perfect shape and original and this one definitely is an original headliner. Not very often do you see that. The dome light here, again, is original as well. And then the sunshades here, all original. Now, another thing that this car was equipped with, it is equipped with seat belts. So you get seat belts in the front seat. However, in the back seat, it did not come with rear seat seat belts. Something I'll probably end up putting in the car, but at the moment, it does not have the rear seat belts. It was another option that you had to pay for. This car was not optioned with it. The hand rest, a lot of people don't know what this is anymore. This is how you roll down the window, and then this is the door handle to get out. Nice little touch here. It says Sports Coupe, and it has that red, white, and blue logo on there. Same with the back. You get a back window here, and one thing with this particular Fairlane, the Sports Coupe, it has this big open window. Now, it has two separate windows, the front and the rear, and they both roll down, and it doesn't have that pillar there, so you got that big open window. Same thing with this side, and you got this little, nice little windbreaker here you open this up and it breaks the wind and you don't get wind in your face which is pretty cool let's fire her back up and take her for a cruise down the road another thing that i like about this nice little original steering wheel is it says fair lane 500 right there in the middle of the steering wheel and you got your horn this whole bar right here is a horn let's hear it beep Woo, baby that's pretty cool i like that about the car give her a little rev 289 V8 revving up. Ah, sounds so good. Let's take her for a little cruise around the block. Sounds pretty nice. Brings you back to the good old days. You know how does that saying go? I wish somebody would have told me I was in the good old days before I left the good old days. Pretty sad. You don't see cars like this anymore on the road, but it is a nice little cruiser. First gear, you know, goes all the way up to like 10 miles an hour. Second gear is a long gear up to about 40. And then third gear, kind of an overdrive is 40 and above. Definitely is a nice little transmission on this car. A couple of these things in here, this oil pressure gauge and this voltmeter definitely is little add-on parts that were added onto the car. But everything else, as you can see, everything else in here is pretty original. You know, 
that car is worth a lot of money. Is it worth a lot of money? Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> 1965. That is a beautiful one. Thank you. I appreciate it. You worked hard to keep it. I am, definitely. You know, I got it a couple months ago and no plans on selling it. No. <laughs> what do you think about the color? It's all right. <laughs> Take care. As I told you, the car gets a ton of love on the road. You know, I mentioned earlier in the video, everybody gives it thumbs up when we're on the road. Again, I can't take this car out without somebody giving a thumbs up or saying how much they love this car. It's not something you see on the road every day. And of course, being able to see this car on the road from 1965 is pretty cool. One of the things I will say about this car is there's not very much leg room. And I think the reason was because people weren't as tall back in 1965 and you know I'm six foot I'm not a tall tall guy but the leg room in here the seat is as far back as it can go and my legs are kind of crunched up in here I know there's certain things I could do I could probably get a longer chair rail and would give me a little bit more room as you as you saw there's plenty of room in the back seat but it's worth a little mention in this particular video that back in 1965 I don't think people were as tall and the, the leg room isn't the greatest in this car but definitely not a deal breaker being able to cruise around in this car all right, so I brought her out to this pretty cool little location here. I'm gonna give you some revs of the 1965 289. As you can hear, she's idling pretty good. I'm gonna set up the camera over here and rev it up a little bit for you guys so you guys can just hear how she sounds, man. She sounds so beefy, so healthy. But let's set you guys up right here. Let you hear how she sounds. How was that, you guys? Man, I love the way that 289 sounds. It sounds so beautiful. It just sounds so good. I really hope you guys like the content of this 1965 Ford Fairlane. I've been getting a lot of comments in my inbox on Instagram and Facebook. They want to see more of the Ford Fairlane. I posted a few videos and I have a playlist of the Fairlane. So I'll go ahead and post this video to that playlist. Go ahead and also check it out if you guys want to see more. I have a nice little build going here. I do, I've done a few things to the car. You guys haven't seen it yet. If this is your first time clicking on one of the videos, definitely go check that playlist out and you guys can see how far this car has come from when I first got it. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about this car, what you think about the color, what you think about the interior. All original 1965 Ford Fairlane. I love it. I am super in love with this car and I have no plans on selling it. I'm planning on keeping it and keep the build going. As you saw that gentleman, he said the car is worth a lot of money. Keep it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for a very long time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Check out my social pages, Andrew Noble, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Always remember, you are the maker of your own story, so don't forget to make it legendary. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.